Welcome to another review and today I'm going to do an unboxing and a quick uh, overview of the GeekPi 5 inch uh, external display. It's designed for the Raspberry Pi but not only, it should also work with uh, mini PCs and other development boards or SBC single board computers and the resolution of this display is 800 on 480 pixels it's a capacitive touch display plug and play meaning you don't need to install any drivers there are a few settings if you want to use it with the Raspberry Pi but it's very easy to set up so I'll do a quick unboxing and show you what's included in the box of course so this is the cover on the secondary package and of course you can see it supports a 60 frame per second and also you can see here the connections one HDMI for the video signal and the secondary uh, interface is the micro USB for the power so basically you need to connect one of the USB ports from the development board to power this unit so this is how it comes inside the box okay so what's included in the package let me zoom in a bit okay first of all you have two papers here one with the basic stuff explaining about the product product description specs so this display works with many operating systems you don't need to install any drivers it's plug and play it works just connecting the two cables here HDMI and the micro USB cable USB to micro USB second page uh, you have uh, a page explaining how to set up a Raspberry Pi with this display you need to change the settings of the config config.txt file on the image you're loading through the Raspberry Pi so you need to change a few settings and force the resolution according to this display so that's the information also you have on the other side how to connect to the display here also instructions so that's for the user guide so this is the display of course it's very small 5 inch pretty nice uh, it's composed from it's composed from the back side from the PCB and of course on the front you have the panel and also you can see here you have two connections one for the HDMI for the video and the other for the power micro USB port a USB cable and a micro USB cable are not included with this package so you need to buy or use existing ones if you have at home it's a basically standard mobile phone cable just make it shorter not so long same goes for the standard USB cable very simple so not include, included in this package so again just two connections here and here this is the power and this is for the video signal also I have the previous model it's not a capacitive touch screen it's a resistive touch screen so it's kind of different but looks the same here you can see I've um, placed it inside a type of a case, open case but this case doesn't fit with this display so you need to design something for yourself with a frame that said it's a nice product this uh, display looks really good if you're using it for open source projects or mini uh, workstations it will work really fine you just need two cables and that's it the power again uh, you get it from one of the USB ports of the device you're working with 
So thanks for watching and see you next time on the second part of the video. Bye. Back to the second part of the video and right now you can see I have a Raspberry Pi version 3B with few changes such as a dual fan unit here on top of the CPU and so this is a unit you can also buy from 52Pi website or Amazon store or AliExpress store also I have a USB hub also from the same company it basically offers you external uh, USB ports, more USB ports and also you have a battery backup so you can power the unit without any external power so it's kind of a UPS also and you have an on off switch also built in on this board because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have an on off switch built in so you have a few other USB ports with this provided hub uh, that said let's jump to the display right now you can see the 5 inch display is connected to my Raspberry Pi board through two types of cables you have a USB to micro USB plug here very standard cable you can find it with any mobile phones also you have an HDMI cable for the video signal so basically you have two connections and that's it it's plug and play, it works with any board not just with the Raspberry Pi, it will work with any mini PC board, development board and it also works with Intel boards running Windows operating system so here you can see the display I'll try to move it closer so you can see So it really works nice. Okay, so you have a small display. This uh, display also works as a capacitive touch screen, meaning you can use it as a touch screen display. It supports 10 point display, capacitive screen again, really nice. Again, if the software supports this function it will work and you can use the fingers to move the cursor on the screen so in this uh, demo I'm running Ubuntu Linux and it works pretty fine very nice this stand is not included in the package of course so if you're planning to buy this unit you need a frame or something or a base this is the back side as you can see here and you can see the HDMI plug and the power plug through here so that's the back of the screen just the PCB and the display is on the front so pretty nice product I really recommend it very cool if you need, you need a screen for a open source projects or to connect a mini PC very nice product and so thanks for watching and see you next time bye